coach, I was talking to some of the guys about it, but team got hot down the stretch, won the conference, won the league championship. Just how confident are these guys heading into a regional as a four seed? You know, I think probably as confident as a four seed is going to be, right? I mean, <clears throat> we played well all year. I know we did, you know, I think we're 19 of our last 27. So it looks like, you know, we're pretty hot, but we've been consistent the entire year. You know, we played 14 series. We've won 12 of the 14 series. We dropped the four game set at Arkansas, and then we stumbled one time against Eastern Illinois in conference. So we played good baseball the entire year. You know, we opened up with a, with a series win at South Alabama. They're a three seed and the Gainesville Regional. So we had a very good non-conference schedule. We played well in that. Um, I feel like, you know, our team has, has been steady and they've been consistent and they've kind of stayed in the middle emotionally. And, and I think that that is what we need to do, obviously, in front of 16,000 fans at Swayze tomorrow night. But that's easier to be said than done, right? Like we haven't, when we were at Fayetteville, the park wasn't fully open. There was 4,000 people there. They were all day games, you know, coming in here on Friday night in front of 7,000 people is going to be a different challenge. But the fact that we played so well for so long this year, we've just played steady and consistent and, and played fundamental baseball. I think our guys think they can do that. And they play with a ton of confidence in Dylan. You know, every time Dylan's gone out there, we've, we've won every game but two uh, the entire year on Fridays. And uh, they play with a ton of confidence. They feel like he's going to keep them in the game. They, are, they have a lot of belief that we're going to be in the game tomorrow night. It doesn't mean we're going to win it, but they feel like we're going to look up in the middle of the game and we're going to have a shot. And, and our team, I think, is, is going to come out and – I think the biggest challenge for us is mastering the emotions and mastering the environment. And if we can just play the game and not play the event, I think we have a pretty good shot. From your perspective, what's been the key to Dylan's success this year? You know, we added, he added the breaking ball. You know, he's always been a fastball changeup guy. And obviously we worked on, on spin, but it's never been a prominent pitch for him. He was really a two pitch guy. And so that third time through the order guys would get to him. Um, you know, last year it was starting to get better, but it wasn't great. You know, he had a 15 strikeout, no walk performance in the third week of the season last year against Ohio. He was the national pitcher of the week, but then COVID happened and we didn't really get to see what was going to happen after that. And uh, he came back after the shutdown with COVID and I think his first bullpen, I think I was in the indoor and he was throwing a pen outside and coach Kenny came and grabbed me and he said, Hey, you need to see this. And like, he's got a breaking ball. And like, it was, it was different. And he came back on an 84 mile an hour slider and 80 mile an hour through curveball, And it's been different ever since. And I think that the addition of spin to his repertoire has been a very, very big deal for him. It's changed his career. I know there's always different strategies and philosophies for pitching this first game of a regional. Was there ever any doubt that you were going to use Dylan here? Not, not as the, not as the four in the one versus four matchup. If you're the one in the one versus four, you can think about it, but we're going to, we're going to take our best shot with our guy. You talked about getting these guys ready for the environment. What do you say to them to kind of, I know you guys played at Arkansas earlier this year, but you said it is different with the limitations being lifted. What do you say to your guys to kind of prepare them for what they're about to encounter? I mean, you just try to describe it for them. You know, I mean, they, they, they've been in a stadium like this, you know, we played at Vanderbilt, we played at Kentucky, we played at Arkansas. They've seen the stadium. It's just the the electricity of 16,000 people, you know? And so you talk about it, you tell them what they're going to be in for. And, you know, you tell them if you can master that, like don't play the event, play the game. Cause we've been good at playing baseball for, for four months, but we, we can't get caught up in the event. And it's easy for me to say, I don't, I don't have like the magic words to make them do it, but we just try to talk about it, let them know what they're in for. And hopefully we have enough old guys with some experience. They can work through those emotions. As far as uh, your offense going against Ole Miss's pitching, kind of what's the scattering report there from from your vantage point, and how do you think you find a way to scratch some runs across? You know, Diamond, you know, obviously he's a very talented arm. It's going to be mid-90 fastball um, with a north-south breaking ball, but he has been scored on. I think he's pitching at five, so it's not like he's he's been throwing shutouts every time out. You know, we just need to get on time with the fastball. They do a really good job of stretching the strike zone vertically with two strikes. You know, they throw a lot of those elevated fastballs and, and then the, 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 the big 12-6 breaking ball off that. We just need a good job of controlling the strike zone with two strikes because they get a lot of strikeouts on, on chase pitches out of the zone. And so, you know, for us, we just want to you know, sell out to the fastball to get on time with it. But in doing that, we can't expand the zone and just get crazy with it because he's got the stuff to punch you out if you start swinging big north and south. Cool, Coach. That's